Good evening, good afternoon or good morning or wherever, whenever you pick this up. My name is Graham Gordon Thomas and I'm bringing to you insights to a secret that the elite would rather you did not know. Evolutionary theory, although some people may be offended by the word evolution and say evolution doesn't exist, Evolutionary theory, all it is, is a means of examining the economics of politics and see what the consequences are into the future. If politics is recessive, even though they say we are progressing, they're progressing in an agenda. But whether it is progressing actually in a positive and a practical sense, you then have to look at the basic results, what's happening to the poorest of people and pensioners and those things. At that level, the only way to measure the success of a politics, of policy, an economic policy, is what is happening at a street level. Not what you read in the paper, not what is announced by politicians or celebrities or anyone else. It's what you can see for yourself and know for yourself by how many people are living on the streets, how many people are having difficulty finding work, how many people in jail. Those all, all, all those sorts of things tell you whether an economic policy and general policy is progressively worse or progressively better. You have to ask yourself and know that what's happening in the world with AI, artificial in intelligence and robots and all that is very much on the mind of those at the elite end of the political, politi political and economic decision making which may not be in the country that you live in. They could be, we, we could speculate where they are or, or all there. But each country and each political political system, especially in the West, will have people planted amongst it in a bureaucracy or in politics that are directly and intrinsically involved in the elite who are behind the scenes creating a fiat system and being involved and they, they it's not actually they're not forcing people to do anything but they do mislead people by the way they explain policy or the benefits of it the whole idea of policy which is based on political correctness that is you can no longer argue with an authoritative stand on any particular thing regardless nothing is actually ever scientifically analyzed and explained and rationalize into an economic paradigm so it makes sense to the average person in a way that they can see that how it will really really affect their children into the future. The important thing of that is you have to ask yourself what is the most important capital investment any individual can possibly make. The most important capital investment is the child, how you nurture that child, the example you give it, how you feed it, how you teach it about food and its manners, how you give it discipline to go to bed at the right time and learn and read or whatever will denote that's the quality capital. That's the quality capital outcome. When your kid turns out a decent human being and is a law abiding and goes through life being productive for their own benefit that's the greatest capital and they're healthy and happy that's the greatest capital gain you can get for yourself the wealth gain you may get you may become a millionaire but if your kids turn out to be junkies and failures and sick or criminals that is a failure of your genetic capital which is more important and it's also a very spiritual thing to pass on your genes to your offspring and they gain um, positively in the world is also a spiritual endeavour. 
it is actually the role of your spirit a spirit is in your genes a spirit of life what is we going to happen though with AI because AI now has given birth to its own children that can create its own program that can develop itself and probably answer all the questions you want to know about everything uh, just by answer, asking it and robots are getting so advanced now that what they will do is replace the need for human resource or people to do lots of, do lots of menial tasks driving cars, driving trucks everything almost will be able to do be what's manual and uh, which means bureaucracy, bureaucratic uh, tasks as well, administration etc most of it will be done be able to be done through uh, AI uh, artificial intelligence and robots that means that the powers of be will work this out a long time ago this is not new this has been worked out since the 1950s they've just forgot to be telling everyone but some of us were in the 50s and we listened very carefully to what they were saying what was going to happen now we've caught up with them and worked out what they're doing they know by the, by the system of diminishing returns that have been in place they will I assume that humans then will have been by denying them the right to question but through political correctness having that as a force within society to make people afraid of questioning the authority if you continue that through three generations you get to the state of my mind amongst the culture that no one even knows to question any authority anymore which we are at that stage within certain political systems at the moment if you take that to six generations the self-will of the people is diminished to it, it doesn't hardly exist anymore you can do the same breeding technique with a cats you can breed a, say, a new species of cat or a new breed of cat sorry not a new species but a new breed of cat from certain mixing cats with certain behaviors or colors within three generations you have a format you've reformatted a type by the time you get to six generations you've ascertain a permanent effect and got a new breed of cat well that is exactly what they're doing with humans with political correctness that is the secret they don't want you to know and if you can do a projection it's not difficult to see if you don't need labor anymore and uh, it's too expensive to keep it's too expensive to get keep when it gets sick and old and stuff like that the powers of me have worked this out a long time ago so political correctness is basically a program of cloning and coercion it's political correctness is one way of calling it, calling it but it actually it's a program of coercion into a culture that has diminished free will and self will it will do as it's told then eventually it will weaken its will and hopefully the powers that be that it reduces the human population apparently it will appear naturally by so by the time you get to about 2075 there will be a, a, maybe a reduction in population in the west certainly through this program because there will become new laws will, will come in, will be coming in in the future that the political correct brainwashed ones will vote for that will start to limit the need, the population growth amongst those that uh, have been inculcated if you like as a generate over the generations into going along with whatever the left says but that was, will not mean that will mean people like Islamic people and that who will not go along with this will then become as they build their populations up they will so actually begin to control this place uh, through Islam so you have to ask yourself what is the behind all of this use of a program called evolutionary theory so it creates a recessive genetic format or reformatting over the concurrent generations into the future 
who would be behind such a devilish thing to destroy a open-minded well advanced cultural idea of knowledge being the guide not theology not ideology but knowledge through asking questions which generates knowledge who would be behind that sort of thing who would be behind the idea of destroying the western cultures the anglosphere if you like uh, why would they do that they would do that because they want to control the minds of the people by attacking the idea of all white men are all stupid well they're saying David Bowie and Mick Jagger and John Lennon and all those people are all stupid according to these young people but I suspect the young men who say all white men are stupid had lousy fathers because anyone who had a decent father would all think well all white men were quite all right and so I'm going to do a series, small series of these videos that reveal this secret to people because evolutionary theory is people what people might think oh what does it mean think about it and you don't have to believe anything at all I say that's the important part of this the most important part of being a human is questioning what does it mean find out for yourself don't believe a word I say because that is not the point of this. This point of this is to say, disagree with me if you like. But if you're going to disagree with me, agree with me, prove it. Prove what you're saying is right. Prove what I'm saying is wrong. Show me I'm wrong. I'd be happy to see where I'm wrong, but would be joyful in my heart to find out I was wrong. But so far, I've been reasonably accurate for quite a number of decades now in being able to understand what the results of policies policies have been so now I can come out and say well I sort of have some insight to what's going on and I want to bring this to the people so they can decide for themselves because that's how democracy should be you learn you gain knowledge you do research you look into books you don't believe anyone at all whether evolution's true or bible's true you don't believe anything about anything you go and find out for yourself that is what being a human being is not being controlled by anyone else government priest or anyone wife husband a human being is an independent individual entity with their own purpose of surviving within a peaceful system, a humane system. Anyway, my name's Graham Gordon Thomas, revealing to the world what the real secret is, beyond aliens and all that other stuff. This is the real secret. All the other stuff, I suspect, is a distraction. Thank you. Good night.